have you ever prayed but never got an answer and wondered if God was really there did you feel all hope was gone but in his time he Just what you want But he always knows what's right Even when we think it's wrong Just remember there is no prayer to Exactly what we need There is no prayer too small For God hears them all The answer may not be just what you want But He always knows what's right Even when we think it's wrong Just remember Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to discuss something with you and let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you know you're not dead. You don't know how to get out of that coffin. You try lifting the lid. The weight of the dirt from the grave is just too heavy. You can't open the lid. You try banging on the lid. Maybe you unsettle the dirt and somebody might notice and start digging that weight down towards you. This is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help. You know you can't do it on your own. You, you don't know where to turn. In reality, there are people standing there. You just don't know that. You just think you're going to die. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind while you were abusing drugs and alcohol that maybe, just maybe you might overdose? and take something that was preciously given to you by God away, called life. And if you don't care about your life, it's so much more selfish when there are people that love and count on you. People like your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your husband, your wife, your children, even your grandchildren count on you. 
let me just say this one other thing. Don't be like the person that I'm reading about on these index cards that waited, waited, and waited until it was too late. Instead, just pick up the phone and give me a call at 844-405-HELP, and I promise I'll help you take your life back before your life is gone. Call me, 844-405-HELP. People like Larry Geis, addiction recovery coach, life coach, over 30 years experience at 516-458-2741. Larry Geis can be found at www.odysseyconsultant.org. Larry Geis will take you from addiction to recovery, from depression to happier times, from low self-esteem to raise your self-esteem. Larry and I always tell folks like you, it doesn't matter where you came from, it doesn't matter where you've been in life. What matters is that you're here and you're reaching out to one of us or other, thousands of other life coaches and addiction recovery coaches. Call Larry at 516-458-2741. Let Larry help you take back your life. Don't forget to take your slippers off at night before you climb into bed. But instead of just leaving your slippers by the edge of your bed, push them under your bed. In the morning, when God allows you to wake up to enjoy another beautiful day on this beautiful earth, go and retrieve those slippers. They're under your bed. You're on your knees now. Utilize that time to communicate with God. Let God know that you're so thankful for Him allowing you to see that stream and the waterfall behind me. Because there's someone on earth that didn't wake up. Ask God for guidance, direction for today and the whole week. Ask God for forgiveness and mercy for anything you might have done. Thank God for having a home, a family, clothing, and food. I call this knee mail, K N E E mail, and I utilize this each and every morning, each and every day, 24 7. Why is it important? Because you need to have a personal relationship with God. A lot of people always say, Why aren't my prayers being answered? Well, the answer is it's because you need to connect with God. You can't just merely speak words. You need to feel God within you. No better way to do it than email. K-N-E-E mail. Walk with God 24-7. Now put those slippers on and walk with Him. I want to talk about three lies to eliminate to start living up to your potential. And we want to talk about this. And in the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years Abraham Lincoln said that. Such an old quote. I used to think that I would motivate myself to really live up to my full potential by reminding myself how much I wasn't living up to my potential. Well, that didn't work too well. How about for you? Not that I didn't get any results from chanting, you are so not living up to your full potential while getting out of bed, driving to work, doing the dishes, and combing my hair. Any time was a great time to remind myself so I didn't waste a second doing just that. And I got results, only not the ones I expected. I became an expert on mindlessly browsing the web. I became an expert on constantly comparing myself to other people. I became an expert at feeling stuck. I became an expert on driving myself crazy with non-stop, you are so stuck chatter in my mind. I felt drained, stuck, and in low energy. These were my daily companions. So it shouldn't be any wonder I grew less and less fond of my so-called motivational mantra that wasn't doing anything but well, motivating me. I've realized that living up to our full potential starts with eliminating three big lies. Number one lie, it's productive to beat ourselves up about not living up to our full potential. That's a lie. When we spend all our energy telling ourselves that we're not doing good enough, we have very little time, very little energy left to look deep down inside. Don't get me wrong, I was very busy. I was very busy searching for my full potential. I read tons of books, I completed lots of quizzes to find my true talents and right job for me. I browsed this job section of newspapers, I looked at whatever other people were doing. In short, I was looking everywhere except here, inside. I wasn't paying attention to what gave me energy. I wasn't paying attention to what fascinated me. Instead, I was writing the pros and cons for potential jobs, but reaching a dead end time and time again, as I failed to neatly add and subtract all the, the uh, pros and cons in both columns into an overwhelmingly clear answer that was telling me I was on a wrong path. 
I came to believe that I already know what it means to lead a rich, uh, excuse me, rich, meaningful, purpose life. It's just a matter of paying attention and listening to ourselves and taking action and checking in with ourselves to discover what feels good, what energizes us, what feels bad, what drains us, and what fascinates us. It's a matter of allowing ourselves to explore and experiment one tiny step at a time and adjusting where needed, using our energy levels and our fascination as a compass to guide us in creating an energizing, brilliant life that inspires us. Line number two, living up to our full potential means, means living life free of fear, failure, and sorrow. Line number two, I convinced myself that living to my full potential meant living happily ever after in some kind of perpetual state of bliss. I've come to believe that this is only a myth. Living up to our full potential means feeling the fear and doing it anyway. It means realizing we are living up to our full potential because of that and thanks to the mistakes we make that we learn from that. Living up to our full potential means seeing things as they are, not the way we think they should be, and taking action from that place. It means allowing ourselves to feel the way we do, not the way we think we should feel. It means diving in and exploring why we are feeling the way we do. And that's when we find our answers. That's when we connect and reconnect with our full potential. That's when we start tapping into our brilliance. Line number three, we're not good enough. Big line. When we tell ourselves you're not living up to your full potential, we're basically telling ourselves you're not good enough the way you are right now. And that is such a disempowering lie. I've learned that it is my choice whether or not to believe that lie. It is my job to let go of that lie and choose an empowering perspective instead. I've learned that I can make the choice every minute of every single day. So that's what I did. I made that choice and that's what I do time and time again. I'm being the best me I can be right here, right now, in this moment. I've, uh, I'll be thriving tomorrow thanks to mistakes I'm making today. Learning from those mistakes and moving forward. Living up to our full potential is not trying to avoid making mistakes. It's giving, our, uh, giving it our all wholeheartedly with all you and I, we've got. I am now reconnecting with my full potential through everything that I do daily. I choose to explore. I choose to explore me. I choose to do me. Living up to my full potential is doing my thing one tiny step at a time at my pace in my own fabulous, imperfect way. Some will like it. Some won't. Living up to my full potential is being cool with that instead of trying to please everyone that's around me. I'm done living someone else's life. Living up to my full potential is giving myself permission to be who I am and tapping into my unique me. I feel empowered, scared, and excited. Proud and determined. Playful and inspired. These are just a few of my new daily companions on this long, fascinating, winding road that is living up to my full potential. And they didn't come into my life by accident. I choose to invite them in, one empowering thought at a time, each and every day. And so can you. Let today be the first day that you stop telling yourself those three lies. Keep in mind I keep a hard copy of every single show I do. All you need to do is call me at 844-405-HELP or text me at 631-599-0218. And together, let us all live in the truth of the matter that you are worth everything to yourself, most importantly. And may God bless you.
but never got an answer and wondered if God was really there. Did you feel all hope was gone? But in his time he came along and answered the prayer you thought was gone. There is no prayer to song, for God hears them all. The answer may not be just what you Just remember, there is no prayer too small. I have read it for you. We'll ask you shall receive. No matter what it is, I still. is just exactly what we need. There is no prayer to song, for God hears them all. The answer may not be just what you